what you get in this box. I have four pairs here. You have some adorable little cases. And that is upside down. Oh, that's sweet. These are the little cases. I guess they all are different. doesn't tell you on the outside what is on the inside I don't hardly remember what I ordered anymore because uh, it's been a while uh, this is a big case so it's pretty nice glass bottles I'm always a fan of the glass bottles they just feel more I guess less cheap to me and so these ones are the it looks like the Rambo ones that I ordered maybe Oh no, let me see. These are the fire ones. So these are green and red, which are really interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. So I was like, I have got to try those. Um, this is another big box. It's hard to do this with one hand, sorry. So it looks like this inside. So it almost looks like another box that you shake it out and it's, it's this holder. So then these are probably the rainbow ones, yes. I've always wanted to try rainbow lenses, but I've just never found any that looked good. And um, in the pictures, these were these are probably the most popular lenses on the site. So I saw a lot of people's pictures and I really wanted to try them out. And this doesn't tell me what it is either. This is a very slim case. Let me see how I can open this without making too much of a mess. Alright, so these are green. That's pretty interesting. They're, they look very pale. I hope that the coverage is really good on this. It is a darkish green with kind of lightish green in the middle. I don't think I like that pupil hole, but we will see what it looks like. I don't even remember which lenses those are. Of course, when I do the try-on, I will put the, the name of the actual lens there. And these are white. And I know why I wanted these. and Because I've got white lenses, but these are a combination of screen lenses and white lenses. So they're white, but they've got the screen in the center, which... I thought would give a really interesting dead look. So I'm really eager to try these out. And uh, I will be back once I'm dressed with the try-on. Hey guys, I am here with yet another contact lens video. Um, first of all, I'm going to say please don't pay any attention to this shitty wig. Um, I've had this sitting in the back, uh, waiting for me to wear it. It's from a company that I did like and then ended up being really bad. And so I haven't wanted to touch the wig because I'm like, oh, it's probably going to be shit. And I mean, while the colors are beautiful, I haven't seen colors like this anywhere else on any other wig. The thing is, is that this wig is so, so thin and I mean, you can see up here you can see the wig crown like uh, the lace and it's just so badly made I just can't make it look good I've sat here for almost an hour trying to fiddle with it and just make it look decent and I can't so I don't know what um, I'm probably gonna make a wig review at some point with um, wigs that I suggest and wigs I don't suggest because I've actually got a really big selection of wigs and now while a lot of them actually almost all of them except for this one this one goes like down here but um the rest of them are actually shorter than my real hair now so I don't really wear them because now it's a hassle because my hair is actually longer than all the wigs that I have and hair toppers and everything else I used to use so that's kind of cool but um anyway I'm probably gonna make a wig review video at some point soon because I just 
this company is a really bad company. They actually ripped me off. Um, they sent me like a damaged wig and then they made me actually pay a portion to get another one sent out and then they never sent they never sent it to me. So they're just bad all around and I just grabbed this one because my hair is looking kind of manky today and I wanted um, to kind of get dressed up and um, it's not working out. So aside from that, the contacts I'm going to be reviewing today, I've got four pairs and they are from a company called DTLEYE. So it's like DTLI.com. And they have sent me four pairs of contacts um, to try out, and I just closed the website. I have it open so I can see what they're called because these actually, the thing is, is that this company, they have a US warehouse, and I think they have a UK warehouse, then they have the typical order from overseas. And my dumb ass bought the ones from overseas um, instead of the US warehouse. So shipping took quite a while. It's only been about two weeks since I've received the contacts though, so it's all in all, it's not too, too bad. Um, but anyway, the pair that I'm wearing right now, these are called the Gaia 2 Green. And um, I chose these because they, you know me, like I'm on a green kick lately. Um, I actually have my hair dyed half red and half black, but I really, really miss having green hair. And I kind of, this makes me really miss having blue hair as well. But um, these contacts are cool because they are green on the outside to a lighter green on the inside. Um, these contacts are very comfortable. They feel really good and I think that they look pretty good. Um, these are my second favorite pair of the four that I got. So I'll go on to my least favorite and I'll save my favorite favorite ones for last. All right, so these ones are called the Fire Green, and these are a bit underwhelming to me. I was super excited for these originally because they're red with the outside being green. So you can see there's like a green rim like that. There's a green rim around the red. Maybe it'll look different on somebody with colored eyes, but for me, they just look brown, I think, with not much a hint of anything. So I can't say I really like these too much. These are really, really underwhelming, but they're still, I mean, they're still comfortable. They just don't look like anything to me, but the idea is really cool. And these are called the Mary Sue Rainbow. These are, as far as I could see, the most popular contact lenses on the site. And I can kind of see why. I mean, it almost looks like I have two different colored eyes. These are a very, very understated rainbow color. So it's got all the colors there. You just can't really see all of them. But it's got red, yellow, blue, green, um, orange, I think. Let me see if I can take my flashlight and show you guys. So you can see all of the colors in there. That is super pretty. Um, the contacts do twirl around, so you're probably going to end up with not the same color um, in both of your eyes. Like, this looks dark, this looks light. You can always rotate them, but they'll move around again, they have on me. But it's a pretty cool effect regardless. Um, it's a way to have rainbow lenses but still be very understated because from a distance these just look kind of hazel. They don't really look like, oh my god, you've got rainbow colored eyes. Um, they could pass for very natural lenses, but they're not. They've got a heavy black ring around them, the limbal ring, and a beautiful fade on the inside. I really, really like these lenses. I've worn these out a couple of times and um, I feel like, you know, I've got the colored eye aspect going, but nothing too Halloween outrageous because as much as I look different, I still get kind of nervous going out in public looking too different. Um, I haven't gotten over myself as far as that goes in all this time, but um, yeah, I really, really like these lenses.
last but not least these are my absolute favorite from the lot you know me I love white contacts and Halloween type contact lenses this is the best of both worlds these are under D184 or something like that let me see yeah D184 white that's what these are called on the site I'm not really sure why they gave it that name but these are cool as hell because they are the their combination of the regular like Manson white lenses mixed with the screen lenses so you've got your screen around it as you can see and you've got your screen in the pupil so it's you know it's um a cooler effect than having just white lenses and a, a cooler more vibrant effect than having just screen lenses so I really really love the way that these look and um, I'm super happy with these I've also never seen these lenses on any other site before so um, definitely definitely love them and uh, they have a lot more lenses on their site that um, are cool Halloweeny looking you know lenses like this and I'm hoping to try out some more um, they had mentioned that they wanted to work with me more and so hopefully I'll be able to continuously you know bring you different lenses especially as Halloween is approaching and you guys might want some ideas for some cool costume lenses uh, to have for Halloween as people do or people like me like them just for year-round um, so yeah, um, that's about it. Uh, the customer service with this company is also really great. I mean, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be sharing their contacts. I wouldn't want anybody to buy from somebody that I wouldn't buy from myself, which is why I want to make the wig video to stop people from buying from this shitty, rude company that doesn't care about their customers whatsoever. Um, but uh, yeah, these guys are really great. Um, shipping, like I mentioned, took quite a while because I, I didn't choose the U.S. warehouse. Uh, I thought I did, but I was so excited to pick contacts, I didn't really pay attention to the title, which tells you if it's a U.S. warehouse or not. And um, I was kind of pestering them a little bit, like, do you know how long it's going to be? Do you know how long it's going to be? And I got the review for Moco Queen, um, two separate orders from them before I got this one, and I was like, come on, you know, what's going on here? And uh, if I'd paid for them, I almost would have thought they ripped me off because it took so long for stuff to get here. But they very, very calmly did not get angry or irritated with me. They were polite the entire time, explained to me that the ones I ordered were from overseas and therefore it would take longer. And that's when I realized that I didn't choose U.S. like I thought I did. And I apologized to them. They, they were totally cool. So, I mean, they, they didn't turn on me or, you know, treat me like I was ungrateful or rude, which I probably was at the time. Um, I didn't mean to be rude, but if I came across as rude, they didn't show any sign of it. Um, and they stayed professional and very sweet the entire time. So I really did like, um, working with them and I suggest you guys check it out. And I think next, my next video, if I can brave enough, is going to be a very, sh very small lookbook. Um, previous to this video, I released a little video of just like one outfit that I tried on and I thought was really cool. Recently, I have dropped about 10 pounds, um, and I feel a lot better about myself because I've been, you know, like I mentioned before, I've been putting on a lot of stress weight, and um, I weighed myself, and I was like, oh my god, you know, I'm 10 pounds down, and I just, even that little bit, I feel so much better about myself, and I'm hoping to continue <laughs> however I've done it and just lose more, but I mean, right now, I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy that I've at least dropped a little bit. And so I tried on that outfit and I really loved the way it looked and I've got, I think, like two more, at least two more outfits that I want to show you guys. And so I want to set up the mirror outside or the camera outside and do that and actually, you know, show an outfit or two um, because I don't know where the rest of my stuff is or what you guys have seen or not seen. But I miss doing little fashion shows, so I think I'm going to try to gear myself up to doing that next. And, um, and then I've gonna try to gear myself up for like a photo shoot out in the woods and I'm gonna have like this crown that I have on here on and like maybe this crappy wig so I get some use out of it and like this ball gown looking thing and it's gonna be really cool it'll be a black version of the white photo shoot I did many years ago in New Zealand essentially um, so this might be just like my whole top half and then with a black gown something like that I'm not sure I'll figure it out but um that's gonna be online I might put it together some pictures for YouTube if anybody is watching still I know I don't post often enough so 
nobody sees or cares about my stuff so I mostly do it for me and I do it for the companies that ask me to review but um, hopefully you guys are doing okay and everybody's still alive out there and I will see you guys next time